a man from uh, Parrish, New York, yeah. uh, who was protesting motorcycle helmet laws, actually died while he was protesting the helmet laws um, while he was driving his motorcycle. It turns out that he slammed his brakes and his motorcycle fishtailed. He went over the handlebars and he suffered a he head injury and died. And they said, the authorities said afterward, that uh, had he been wearing a helmet, he would have lived. Um, I, there's not much more you can say about that. Uh, I, I, I don't mean to say it with a smile. It's a tragedy, but uh, it's you know it's a it's a cause for which I have no passion. The you shouldn't have to wear a helmet thing. I'm not a motorcycle dr rider, clearly, mm -hmm. um, and I understand that there's a coolness factor to not wearing a helmet doing anything. Um, but I'm I mean, why wouldn't you wear a helmet? That you, you this could happen to you. It, not wearing a helmet while on a motorcycle is the most irresponsible thing you could do on a right. motorcycle. Okay, but then it becomes: Do we legislate responsibility? Do, are we, or should, we, or is it up to these morons who don't want to wear a helmet? I said moron twice a lot. I'm, I'm, sure. I'm glad that you said morons. Yeah. No, I think I think it makes sense to make it, you know, a rule, a regulation. Like you have yeah. to wear, you have to wear the helmet. It's the same as a seatbelt. Exactly. We're forced I mean, to wear seatbelts, which I think, even though it's a pain in the ass, it makes sense. It saves lives. So I, it, it's not even that much of a pain in the ass. When, it first, when the law was first enacted, uh, it was a pain because you know, I got pulled over for it when they first did, you know, for not wearing it. So like you just, the, the, the habit, everybody's in that habit now. Mm -hmm. You don't even think about it. It used to be you'd get into a car and you'd put your seatbelt on and it would be insulting to the driver if you put your seatbelt on. I'm not kidding. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you would get in and be like, oh, God, I hope it's not about your driving. I'm just, you know, and, and that literally, if somebody put a seatbelt on in your car, you'd be like, I can't believe you're putting a seatbelt on. I'm actually a pretty good driver. That is awesome. Yeah, I did I not know that. Exactly. Um, and so, yeah, so JR is right. I mean, it's exactly like a seatbelt law. But, you know, there's also the, the side of the coin. Like, what if you hit a motorcyclist by accident in an accident and he or she dies because they're not wearing a helmet? Then it does infringe upon you because then you've killed somebody mm -hmm. in your accident, mm -hmm. whether you were careless or not, as opposed to. And so there is a little bit of, you know, sort of community responsibility. Oh, there. I'm trying to hold back so much. I'm trying to hold back well, because I have a certain bias against motorcyclists. The, the, I think bottom line is this guy's campaign. And I'm not trying to be funny. I promise. Mm -hmm. It's over. Yeah. I mean, if nothing else, yeah. he's proven the opposite point. Not, exactly. it's, not it's over because he doesn't get to talk about it anymore. It's, that would have been the ha-ha. But, I mean, literally... Who's carrying this torch now? Yeah. And anybody who was opposing it or whatever he was fighting against basically has to just point at what happened and be like, as tragic as it is, exactly what I'm talking about. Exactly. Right. And he, yeah. he was part of a, like a caravan of other motorcyclists who were riding in protest of the law in New York. And, and so you have to think that some of them now are Might saying, well, maybe, maybe we're going to change our mind. You know, I love, I mean, when this stuff happens and they become even more self-righteous about it, this is what like he would have wanted. He would have, yeah, he would have wanted this. No, he would not have wanted that. I promise you he would not have wanted this. Yeah, and, and a lot of motorcyclists are totally fine. You know, they, they, they follow the regulations, they drive safely, you know, and those are not the people that I'm about to refer to. Um, but people, some people who drive motorcycles, I think that, you know, part of that danger is alluring to them. They, yeah. love, they love it. And then they purposely do things that are risky on the road. Like they'll cut in front of you on the freeway. Right. Like they, they zoom through the lanes and then they cut in front of yeah. you. Well, that's and one of the joys of having a motorcycle is you can get through traffic. Right, you know? which, which I totally understand and I'm, uh, I'm very jealous of. I yeah. wish I could do that. But please don't, don't do crazy things on your motorcycles. Like I, no. I get so scared that I'm going to hit a motorcyclist because you know they're zooming, zipping and zooming, and I'm not going to see them while I'm switching a lane, and then I'm going to hit them, and then they're going to crash and die in front of right. my eyes, and then I'm going to feel like terrible for the rest of my life. But There's you're going to be like, at least he had a helmet on. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So wear a helmet. That, that, that's my argument there. Yeah, it's just common sense. We are wearing awesome t-shirts today. It's not as obvious as it should be. Yeah, this is... You know. It's a matador, matador. I wanted a shirt that looked cute and was comfortable, and uh, this was it. But unfortunately, the logo isn't large enough. Okay. It's very silky and soft. Do you feel the softness? 